these LED strips in use. You can see them right here. And you can see them right here on my face. It's my key light. They are actively cool. If you are interested in this DIY ring light and all of that, then just type in Chris Viral and DIY ring light or DIY studio lights. You will find many, many videos for sure. But these in the middle are without a doubt more yellowish than the outer ones, which are white ish way more whitish just be aware if you buy them at two separate dates then they will look a bit different so the ones from one batch seem to be very similar the led strip from the video is this orange line and it's not a very broad spectrum so it's quite surprising because as you can see it's fairly narrow Initiating. welcome back Daily grind, create yourself is what you'll find me doing Every day and every night, no time to lose One day, one step in the right direction I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you If I can do it, you can do it too Welcome back to the vlog, it is Saturday, another day, another chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is a review of a 95 plus CRI LED strip straight from China, so let's get it. By the way, all the product reviews right here, I'll watch them all, but before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max, so let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Now these LED strips in use, you can see them right here, and you can see them right here on my face, it's my key light, but not as amazing as you might think, well, we'll get into that. So first of all, let's get to the easy stuff, power consumption and all of that. So this is the power supply reading, 13 watts, which is basically, we had a fan running. All the caps are charged, this is the stabilized power usage. Let's put this aside for now. And these are all the LED strips that I got. All of them are these bigger than 95 CRI 6000 Kelvins and 5 meters and stuff. Linked in the description if you're interested. On my other light, which is lighting up this scenery right here, I noticed that the color temperature of two strips is a bit different. Behind this diffuser is my first DIY light. Oh yeah, this is totally visible, let's go. So I built this middle section first right here. These two and two strips up here, they are a bit more yellow-ish than these outer ones, I added them later on. Both of them should be around 4000 Kelvin. When I set up the white balance, it's 4400. But these in the middle are without a doubt more yellowish than the outer ones, which are whitish, way more whitish. It's not a big problem, this was the first prototype, no biggie, but just be aware if you buy them at two separate dates, then they will look a bit different. They have a fairly wide Kelvin range when you buy them, so buy them on the same day, basically. So not only will I look for the power usage, I will also check for color temperature alignment basically, because for each lamp that I'm going to build, I will need two strips. So there is a date provided, May 29th. Okay, so I have three, four, five. Oh yes, let's get it. I have six, which state May 29th. That is perfect. And I have one May 4th. So let's start with this one. Right there, May 4th. Okay, so we're going to focus on this, on the amps. Let's plug it in, 13 watts, caps are still charged, and let's try on the minus right. There we go. Power consumption goes up to 82 watts, 84, and amps, it's 2.2 amps right there. 84 watts, 2.2 amps. This is actually just 53 watts of LED strip power and we're losing additionally 30 watts 81 watts right there minus 13 is 68 watts the fan actually turns way faster so this might be maybe like 20 watts so let's say 62 and we have like 53 watts so this means we have a loss of 9 watts in any case let's just measure the power consumption of the thing again of the strip is 2.24 yeah 2.24 i'll write this down 2.24 and i will now do this for all the strips and i will see in a bit power reading as follows 2.36 2.34, 2.34, 2.34, 2.31, 2.29, and the one from the fourth is 2.24. 
So the ones from one batch seem to be very similar, which is a good thing. Also, I looked, I took a look at the color temperature and also they look pretty much the same, which is amazing. I already grouped them, these two, these two and these two. Let me demonstrate. This will be, well, not very visible on the camera. Yeah, so that looks like, um, oh, broken section right here. What the heck? But the color temperature looks pretty much the same, which is good. And now we will get to a more uh, questionable topic because, well, I have this, I have this. It's a spectrographic analy analysis. My dad is the OG, he made it possible. We measured a few lamps and I can say this for sure, but I don't think that it's really like this broad of a spectrum as promoted on their website, uh, on their page. Listen to the link in the description, of course, check the link. They will give interesting data. The CRI rating, I heard that you can fake it fairly easily with tuning the LED, but in reality, the light will suck. Ouch, bit my... How did that happen? Ouch. Well, but in reality, the light will suck. The rating will be amazing, but on the camera, it will suck. This is totally not the case with these lights. I actually like them a lot and for the price point, mwah, really amazing. I have the daylight ones and I'm using the white, ba white balance daylight and I got the same batches. So this product is not bad whatsoever, but maybe not as advertised. Let's take a close look. So this is the graph right here. First of all, this line with this peak, then this peak, this massive peak this peak and then also this peak this was my first studio light basically that, I, that i've built you can check it out right here it's a german video though really bad those peaks are really bad for color accuracy you don't want that whatsoever this red one was actually a super cheap china led with a green taint so it's kind of weird because the spectrum looks actually quite nice but maybe the resolution of this experiment wasn't spot on so maybe there is a crazy peak in there so i don't know about that to the eye to my eye this led looks really bad okay and then surprisingly the led strip from the video is this orange line it's right here and then there is this peak and it's not a very broad spectrum, so it's quite surprising because, as you can see, it's fairly narrow. But it's still looking f really good, especially on, on the video. The other ones are pretty much irrelevant. So if you compare this measured curve with the stated spectrum range, then yeah, I think it's not looking very much alike. So don't know about the marketing approach to that, but regardless, it does look good on the video. So I found this to be very interesting. My old studio lights that I used for like, you know, in the studio down in my basement, they are so bad. Like these spikes, it's, it's horrible. So this, these lights are by far the best lights that I've ever owned. For sure, of course, there might be better lights like the like the aperture stuff, but I'm pretty sure for the price, I'm pretty sure it's fairly similar. And especially for the price point, I would choose these like any day, any day. For the price point, these are amazing strips and let's hope they will last a long while. And yeah, my DIY lights, I'm they are actively cool. If you're interested in this DIY ring light and all of that, then just type in Chris Viral and DIY ring light or DIY studio lights. You will find many, many videos for sure on the YouTube search. These were extensive projects, like literally tens of videos per project. One day they will get consolidated on the main channel. But for now, amazing stuff, amazing stuff. I really like it, I really like it. So can't complain too much. It's good stuff for the price you pay for sure. Yeah, anyways, smash the like button the way you will smash LEDs if you let them get too hot. Bang the bell like crap <laughs> to never miss product reviews and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and it is important. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>